Hello, party people of all ages. This is Southpaw from Neckbeard and Southpaw. Yeah, big shock. Anyways, if you're just joining us, we did inside the asylum. Somewhat of a gauntlet level. But you probably know what's next. We're, we're gonna have to do the lake. Yeah, I'm not looking forward to this one. I actually think this one's worse than Pools of the Ancient Dead. Well, let's get out of the way then. Well, at least the tower card looks nice. And we're still riding the boat. Not very thrilling, actually. And we should be getting off right now. I guess we can't talk to him. Oh, well, no big deal. Now, there's only one thing to do here. I mean, there's no important items or anything to do here. We're basically only here to get the chalice and just move on. I'm not even quite sure if the items are necessary. Ah, uh, yes, that's uh, something I should probably mention. You know the uh, various eyeballs around the uh, walls and whatnot? Th the white ones, not the black ones. The white ones have to stare at you for be at least three seconds, and uh, then these enemies will show up. These are the only enemies in the level that count towards the chalice. So, yeah, n little note. Don't destroy the eyeballs, at least not the white ones, because you're going to need them if you want to get the chalice. If you destroy them, like I did in the playthrough, well, in the test playthrough, then yeah, you're not going to have any luck here. Alright, and we have the Earth Rune. We're actually going to need this. There's two more, but they're in different areas. Let's see what's through this path. We could use that. And that's where we'd put the yellow one, but we don't need that right now. Oh, there's the Chaos Rune. But since we're in the vicinity, let's take care of these enemies. The black ones, you can destroy. They won't affect anything. Plus, they'll get rather annoying. I should also probably note that these guys do a pretty good amount of damage, so be careful. Just touching them will do a good amount of damage, like you're probably seeing right now. I think this is the last one, actually. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Let's go and get that Chaos Rune, because we're going to need that in the other part. Oh, shit. There we go. Now, if we can just backtrack without dying, that would be wonderful. And I think, yeah, there are two entrances, but they don't... Hey, gold. Nice. Yeah, there's two entrances, but they they go the same place, so there's really no point. Okay, yeah, I took care of them then. Yeah, I did a test playthrough, because I'm not quite familiar with this level, and the last time I played it, I don't remember doing that well. So I decided to do a little test run, whatnot, see how the level was structured, what you have to do, and yeah, that's how I found out that you have to have the eyeball stare at you, like, for three or four seconds in order for the enemies to come out and get you. So yeah, once again, don't, don't destroy those, or you're not getting that chalice. Yeah, something else I noticed with these uh, enemies... If you can knock them into the uh, deeper part of the water. Oh, by the way, this one things we need. I'm not quite sure what these are, but there are three we have to activate. For a uh, purpose I'll explain here in a second. Yeah, see, if you knock them into the deeper part of the water, they will drown and that will kill them. Probably the easiest thing to do, at least if you're around water. Anyway, see that swirling vortex down there? Oh yeah, second one. Yeah, the little uh, whirlpool going down. Well, it's not really little. But anyways, if we uh, activate three of these machines, I'm, I'm not quite sure what you call them, but if we activate them, it'll stop it, and the whirlpool will cement, which lets us go down there. Which we'll need to, because it'll let us access another area that we're going to have to get to. I believe I already got the time rune? Yes, I did. Good. Third one's activated. See, now watch this. Just watch this. There we go. Now we can go down there. After I take care of these guys. Or this one guy. Unless there's another one over here. I don't see him. We should probably come through and make sure we're not missing anything. I really don't want to miss anything. No, I think we're... Oh, wait, there's one more. Also, yeah, they sped at you, so be careful. Did that knock him out? 
Oh well, let's refill our health while we're at it. I need to find more life bottles. We're gonna need them. We're getting pretty close to the end of the game. I do have enough gold and we have 50%, sorry, 57% of the chalice already filled. I think we're making progress here. Ah, oh, shit, he still survived. All right, let's go knock him out. Come on, ah. Oh. Yeah, that's so weird, it has to be the deep water, but if you knock them in the more shallow water, they'll survive, no problem. Okay, how the hell does that work? I knocked him into the thing. Oh well. Is there any more? I think he was the last one, if I'm not mistaken. But one more comb through just to make sure. I want to be thorough. Nope, I'll see him. Let's go. Wee. All right, what's in here? All right, we may need that because the shield can run out. A couple energy vials. Golden bags that we can use for ammo. I think the next time we go to the Hall of Heroes, we get something ammo related. Oh, by the way, there's the chalice. We'll come back for that later. All right, a new area, and we have to defeat the enemies here too. Speaking of which, there's one, and he's already out. There's the second one, he will be out. See, yeah, the shallow part of the water, they'll survive. Deep water, nah, they're fucked. May as well just do this. I mean, you can wail on them, it does work, but drowning them is a lot more effective. Yeah, those enemies, not quite sure what they're called either, but they don't count for anything, but they do get annoying, so if you want to, by all means, go for it. I don't blame you, they get annoying. Well, it's staring at me, where's the enemy? Hello? Where is he? Hmm. L let's try that one more time. Oh, there, there they are. Hmm. I thought they'd jump out of the water, you know, like the rest. Well, since we're not near any water, yeah, I'm probably just got the will on them. I don't really see any other option. That and the best option I've found, at least weapons-wise, is the hammer, because you know, shockwave and everything. Oh no, I already lost a life bottle. Well, I didn't actually lose the item, I just lost all the health in that. Oh, well, we got five more. Oh, I thought I already killed you. Oh, well, more for the chalice. Okay, I think we can actually drown this one. Nope. Shallow water. Man, I hate that. Alright, let's try the other two. Oh, wait, there's a switch. Well, at least we can leave, but we still have to take care of those enemies. Let's see if the broadsword yields more results. Okay, they're back. Yeah, I should, probably should have used the broadsword too. You know, wider range of attack. They do take quite a few hits to take care of, but that should be no problem. As long as you know what you're doing. Ah, damn it, there's more. Okay, come on. Come on. He's not dying. There we go. Did we get everything? Oh, wait, there's one more. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I just see a golden treasure chest over there? No, we didn't get everything. We still need that rune back there for the exit. Of course, we're not going to leave quite yet. We still have to get the chalice and whatnot. You know me, completionist and everything. All right, let's see. All right. Yeah, these enemies are annoying. I, I mean the ones spitting water, not the ones that are coming out. All right, there we go, there we go. I think we only need to kill one more. If I can find out where he's at. Okay, no, that's the way we came from. No. And eh, let's try here. I'm pretty sure we only need one more. From, oh, it may be from one of these areas. No, not from that one. From this one, maybe? Ah, yeah, here we go, here we go. 
All right, they should be coming out right now. Oh, there they are. All right, nice. Now we can get that chalice. We're gonna take a little bit of a shortcut through the uh, little whirlpool. You know, this actually looks very nice. Not gonna lie, actually. Okay. I believe the chalice should be right through. Yep, there it is. Let's grab it, go through the exit, and get out. I think our business here is done. It'd be terrible if I was actually missing an item, but I don't think I am. Pretty sure we're set to go. Oh, shit. Well, that's gonna happen eventually. I mean, this is worse than Pools of the Ancient Dead. Which, ironically enough, I've only f fell in the water once compared to the four or five times I fell in the puddles over at the uh, Pools of the Ancient Dead. That's kind of embarrassing, actually. Oh, well, no big deal. We can get our health restored later. The ancient people of this long-vanished town once sought to harness the power of crystals found in the caverns below. Now, Zarak seeks to unlock the secrets of this arcane science. This mine shaft leads deep into the earth to certain doom in the crystal caverns. Ooh, crystal caverns. This level I actually like. But of course, first things first, Hall of Heroes. Want to make sure we get everything. At least try. There may be an instance or two where I may have a little bit of difficulties. I think one of them will be in the ancient ruins area. Where basically when you, uh, basically when you, uh, activate something, you only have a time, basically there's a time limit near the end. So trying to get everything in that time limit can be a bit of a stretch, but we'll try. Oh, Danielle, I've got something here I can give you, but I've no idea what it is. Do you fancy a little gamble, like? Is it just me, or did they recycle the dialogue for that one part? I know, I could be wrong, but anyways, we have a magic longbow. This shit is powerful. Like, incredibly powerful. You'll be surprised what you can do with it with an enemy. Well, let's go ahead and just head to the Crystal Caverns, and I think we have enough time to tackle that. It's not a particularly long level, but... I will... It's one of our more favorite levels. Besides, I need to break from all this crap. And by that, I do refer to Bulls of the Ancient Dead and the Lake. I mean, it's bad enough those levels are bad on their own, but you had to do it twice in a row. I, I can't... I cannot stand that at all. Anyways, let's head into the Crystal Caves. Ta-da! Seems more cavey than crystal, at least in this section. Let's go ahead and get these, and... Oh. Shadow demons. I know the best way to take care of these. Flaming longbows. The flaming longbow are the best way to take care of these. You only have to shoot them once, and bam, they're dead within five, three, four seconds. Oh, by the way, there's the chalice right at the entrance. Yeah, but seriously, just one arrow will take care of these guys, no problem, see? Watch. And he's gone. I love that. It's like, oh, the most powerful beings on the planet, and you freed them. But they die with one flaming arrow hit. You gotta love shit like that. Well, anyways, let's get a little bit of information. The ancient town of Menomi was destroyed by creatures known as Rhinotaurs. They live on still, but in a state of hibernation, deep within these caverns. They use the crystals to prolong their worthless hides. Okay, that's kind of a bizarre name. Hey, look, crystals, let's break them. Oh no, Return of the Goblins. Oh, well, they're not much of a threat, especially since we're pretty decked out now. Oh, wait, I don't have that yet. Yeah, I honestly think at this point we are completely decked out on just about everything, so there shouldn't be an enemy that we can't kill. What is that? Well, there is an Earth Rune. 
I imagine we need this. I mean, they wouldn't place that there if we didn't need it. Uh, yeah, we better use a silver shield because I'm just about done. All right. They, they move around a lot, though. Shit, bats are down here, too? Ah, these must be the rhino tars that that person was talking about. Hmm, I wonder what their weakness is. Well, I guess it's not that. And hammers don't seem to be doing anything else. Let's try out the magic longbow. Shit, those are powerful. That took only like, what, two or three hits? Okay, three to four hits, but still, that's pretty good. I guess every enemy in this game does have a weakness of something. It's just finding it. Then again, that's pretty typical for any game. All right, now let's try and proceed. Don't think we, no, we weren't here yet. And there's more of these rhino tar, oh, damn. Yeah, rhino tars, I guess, are their names. At least, I'm, uh, I'm assuming that's what these are. Ah, oh, shit, I missed. How could I have missed? All right, back to the hammer. I don't think there's anything here. Oh, hey, a fountain. We're gonna need this. Wow, we're already at 57% for the chalice? Oh, this should be easy. Yeah, while we're taking a little break, I have to com I have to comment. The music in this level is wonderful. This is probably one of my favorite tracks, if not my top favorite track in the game. This is the reason why I want to do music. Soundtracks like this. It's awesome. All right. Hey, we found some gold. Speaking of which, um, I noticed that the uh, magic arrows don't have a large ammo count. I only get 50 of them. We should probably get more. 100 gold for only 10? Ugh, damn. Well, they are pretty powerful. I guess they gotta limit it somehow. Well, while we have it equipped, we may as well use it. Um, let's get that gold. We could actually use that for more arrows and whatnot. All right, and more baddies and whatnot. Oh, shit. All right, I should probably switch back. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, they do a pretty good amount of damage. So I should probably be a little bit, ah, damn it. Be a little bit more careful. Try and get a good aim on these, because so far I'm not having any luck with aim. I kinda wish there was like a lock on button. I mean, yeah, the, the fairy helps and whatnot, but oh damn it, I thought there was a platform there. Oh well, my bad, my bad. No one else's fault but mine. I'll take that one. If I had to admit something, I guess that's one of the good things that Medieval Resurrection did, was when you fell in, it didn't take an entire life bottle, it only took like 50 points of your health. I guess that game did do a few things right, but still the bad things are pretty bad. If you ever have an interest in this game, get the PlayStation version. I, I wouldn't touch the PlayStation Portable version unless you're extremely curious. This is the best rendition. And while you're at it, you may as well get Medieval too, it's just as good. But I, I like this one a little bit more, just because the levels are a little bit more fun. Not saying the levels of Medieval 2 are bad, necessarily, it's just some of them are a little bit odd, I should say. These ones are a little bit more memorable. But I can honestly say that Medieval 2 has the better soundtrack, overall. Hmm, can't go. Hey, can we go in here? Oh yes, how could I have forgotten? Remember the Dragon Gems we got earlier? The one that we got inside the asylum, and oh, there's the star rune. The one we got in the asylum and from the pumpkin witch. This is where we use them. Check this out. Oh, well, I guess I gotta put them both in separately. All right, there we go. Dares to enter my land and wake me from my slumber? Aha! Prepare yourself, little man. I shall roast the flesh from your bones. Oh, uh. Let me see. Well, in that case, I will pluck out both your eyes! Oh, no, great. I'm just gonna give you a good hiding. That's a good example of why the side characters should be funny and Dan shouldn't. Because I, I, I don't like seeing Dan being an utter goofball. I like seeing him be more of the silent hero type. 
That's why I don't really like Medieval Resurrection that much. They made Dan a freaking goofball, and I don't find that funny, no. And they gave him a sidekick. And he's not funny either, he's actually worse. I think they, oh shit. No, I don't think that's gonna work. Oh damn, oh damn, oh damn. I guess continuous damage works on them too. Okay, there's gotta be, there's gotta be. Cause I'm trying to shoot him, but that's not doing anything. Oh man, I don't remember what to do here. Oh shit, I keep taking damage. Oh man, oh man, how could this get any worse? How could this get any worse? Shit, and the damage, Ah, oh, damn it. I just had to ask, how could this get any worse? And it got worse. Oh man, there has to be a strategy to this. Um, I mean, is there a certain weapon I have to hit him with? Is there, a, do I have, do I have to hit him with a certain long, no, they wouldn't make you do something that isn't required because you're not required to get the items. There has to be something I can do. Oh, I got an idea. I'll use the hammer and that'll work. Okay, I think that's that's what I have to do. But the question is where? Okay, I'm waiting for him. Okay, there. Oh, it doesn't do, oh, wait, wait, wait. Hang on. If I'm not mistaken, I'm seeing kind of a pattern here. Oh yeah, okay, the platform I'm on, whenever I smash it, it has rocks drop on the platform to the right of it, basically in a uh, clockwise rotation. So if I want to do that, I have to be, damn it! Oh, that collision. Sometimes the collision is kind of bad. Oh well. Oh shit, shit, shit. So yeah, if I, if I do this. Okay, there we go, yeah. Can I hit him anymore? No, I guess it's a one-time thing. But all right, I, okay, I see a little pattern here. Basically, if you want to hit him, you have to smash the ground with a club or a hammer. I think any will do fine. And if you want to hit him, you have to go to the platform clockwise to the one he's at, and then hit that. When you do that, the rocks will fall and do damage. Thankfully, he doesn't have a huge life bar, so this shouldn't take too long. Just don't get hit, because if you get hit by fire, it's going to continuously damage you. Okay, can we, okay, we just have to get him one more time. Too bad I can't hit him more than once. Okay, gotcha! Yeah, take this dragon potion and leave me alone. Drink it when you need it. It gives you armor that is impervious to heat. Plus, it lets you breathe fire. Now go away. Nice, just what we need. Oh, if I can grab it. There we go. It kind of looks like a tail, actually. But anyways, we have the dragon armor. This counts as armor and a weapon. Which is kind of cool, but you can't equip the shield or equip a weapon with... You basically can't do more than just the dragon armor itself. But honestly, do you even need to? Okay, let's try and head back if I can find them. No, 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 not over there. No, I don't think this is the way either. Yeah, because we got the uh, yellow rune back there, and we have to... There's there's another section that we have to go to, and I believe that's where we'll find less enemies so we can get the, get the uh, chalice. Well, while we're out, we might as well uh, get more supplies because I can use them. More cross bolts, more definitely more magic arrows. That shit's powerful. Can I go this way? No, that's where I came from, the cave. And I think we're on the right path now. All right, let's just keep going and see where this takes us. No, because that's just going to take us back. Damn it. Is this the way? Oh, yeah, here we go, here we go. All right. Now, let's take care of these enemies, get that chalice, and head out. There's the exit, by the way, but we're not going to leave yet. Yeah, see, it's a pretty nice weapon, except for the small fries. You can't really hit the small fries with this. I, that, I think, because they have torches, for some reason, it doesn't affect them, so I'm probably going to have to switch back. The axe will do. The axe can be efficient if used that. Oh, shit, had took it! Hey, come back here. Ah, there we go. I forgot those kinds of enemies exist. Silly me. My bad. 
But anyways, let's go ahead and uh, head back to the entrance, if I can find it. Is it this way? No, 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 wrong, wrong, that can't be the way. Is it this way? No, that's not it either. Is it this way? No, I can't, I can't go back up there. Okay. Well, shit, I can't remember where the entrance is at. Unless there's like a branching pathway that lets me that way, go that way, if I go this way. Ah, shit, come on. See, that's what I mean. Clutching, collision can be kind of bad sometimes. I don't like that. No, don't go through there. We already went through there. There's no point. And obviously, we can't go down there. That's water. We drown. Can't... Okay, why'd I try and break through that? I don't know. I'm also just trying to find my way out. Yeah, and that's the area where we came back from. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Kind of a small pathway. You should probably be careful. I don't want to fall off. Okay. Carefully. Nice. All right. Now we can go. All right. I'm just hoping I don't get lost again. Seriously, that's embarrassing. No, that's not the way. This is the way. All right. There's the exit. I believe we are done here. Well, for the level, right now we gotta go to the Hall of Heroes and get our new reward, which I'm pretty sure is a new weapon. No more, no more longbow, no more longbow, an actual new weapon. Question is, which one is it? I can't remember off the top of my head. It's not the lightning bolt, kinda wish it was. Oh yes, this one. Alright then, man, how you doing? Uh -uh. <laughs> now then, have you got yourself a magic sword? <laughs> what? Daniel, man, you can't go into battle against an army of undead without a magic sword. Here, take mine. You'll never have to sharpen another blade, or my name's not Dirk Steadfast. It's not enough just to have a magic shield, you know, no matter what that soft ticky stern card says. <laughs> Good lad, why I'd sooner go into battle holding a tea tray than carry that weedy gale's shield of his? Oh, now that's just not nice. Oh well, don't care. I have a magic sword. That's all I'm gonna need. Seriously, we keep getting all these swords. Do you think we get, like, a malice or something? Eh, we don't really need all that. I think we're pretty decked out as it is. I think the next time we go is the last weapon we get. Which is the, uh, lightning arrows, if I haven't mentioned before. Have I mentioned that before? Yeah, pretty sure I mentioned that before. Anyways, I think we're done here. I think we've made a lot of progress, got new weapons and whatnot. Cleared two levels, got all the bullshit out of the way. So no more bad levels, no more being stuck. Hopefully. Knock on wood for that. I will see you guys for part nine. Have a good night and take care.